Wow. Whoa. And we're back on the zoo with the Westbrooks. Ladies, welcome to the show. Thank you. Big round of applause. No, round of applause. Come on. Thank, you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. A little noise, yes. It's very, very cool thing, very cool dynamic. Um, like I said, when you guys were sitting down, you all seem very different. We are, definitely. How? Tell me a little bit more. Everybody has their own little lane, like, Crystal right here, like he says, the hippie. Brooke's more of the mother figure because she has all the kids. Bree's just so Aww. cool. Bree has like the coolest personality. Kind of me. I ride bikes. I'm more on right. the tomboyish side. So we're just all different. Are you afraid? Because uh, are, are you <laughs> girls afraid about the interview after hearing that that we're gonna be asking? He's the one that's gonna ask those questions. Oh, not me. thanks a lot for I'm putting me in the spotlight. <laughs> you can bring it on. Doesn't matter. By the way, where is your sister? Yeah. The one that we just saw in the clip. Did, was she afraid that we were gonna like, you know, no. griddle her during this interview? She's a very busy person. Oh. Yeah. She has a video shoot that she's at right now. Oh, who's the Scorpio? Scorpio. Okay, who's the Aries? We are Christians. Oh my God. <laughs> I know, but you still have a sign. <laughs> we're Christians. We don't believe in that. <laughs> okay. Uh, Dennis? Uh, ladies, so how in the world did they convince your family? Because you're, how many are, how many are you total? It's four, five, plus mom and dad, that's what? Five girls, two boys. Oh my God, there's more seven. of you. Seven, <laughs> seven kids. Yeah, there's kids. seven of you. How in the world did they convince you to document your lives and just, I mean, regardless, you guys put it all out there on social media, so was this just like another step towards reaching more fame and fortune? Pretty much, I feel like we were doing it anyway on Instagram, so okay. we just kept getting hit up. Hey, you guys need a show, you need a show. Plus, our father had been filming this since birth, really. Yeah. Like, when we came out, my dad had a camera in our face, so that's all we know. So it really was nothing to us. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I know that one of the things that you girls talk about on the show, obviously, is your love lives. And, you know, I know there was a little bit co of controversy brewing about Brooke's love life. <laughs> what love advice would you give your sister Brooke, ladies? What love advice will we give Brooke? Mm. Leave her baby daddy. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Like, just leave him in the past. Anybody else want to chime I in? I say if it's not working, leave it alone. Yeah, if he doesn't That's treat you right, you can find somebody else that will. That's what I meant yeah. to say. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I want to hear your advice, because you have, you have this, like, wise look in your eye. You have a certain amount of wisdom, and I want to know what you think. That was definitely a learning experience for me. Mm. Um, it's no longer going. But um, I don't know, I, I feel like I had to go through that. It, it changed and built my character a little more, so. What was it like growing up? I mean, you said you have seven, se are they all women? Five girls, five two, girls boys. two boys. Five girls, how do the boys handle these There's five one, strong women? One, my brother's older than me, a year older than me, and then five girls. 10 years later, 20 yeah. years later. So we the have older brother has to take care of you girls, make sure you guys don't mess with the wrong dudes? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Kinda. Yeah. There's too many of you for him to, you know, be there for every one of you. So yeah, you got to take that. Him and Dad has a tag team. Uh, where'd you girls grow up? Compton. Compton. <sighs> yeah, for sure. I like that. I like and that. Do you I like those guys. Thank you. Night, Corona. But Corona. you're more like wow. Venice Beach. Venice. Right? <laughs> this is the Venice Beach one. <laughs> she looks yeah. Like it, huh? <laughs> Now, they've, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just bring out all the chisme, as we say in Spanish, you know, because um, they've obviously compared you to the Kardashians because there's so many females in this family. Uh, there's rumors that they've gotten plastic surgery. Has anyone here gone under the knife? Is it all natural with all the Westbrooks? Natural. All natural. Oh, really? What is, it that the, what is it that the men like the most? Or even the women? I'm sure you've got a couple of female the curves, admirers. Baby. The curves. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's the curves. As a Cuban man, uh -huh. I can definitely say that that is something that should be celebrated and worshipped. Yeah. Curvy women, big beautiful butts. Yeah. Okay. We have yeah. big chest too. Yeah, oh. you got yeah. it. And you get it from who? What, what side of the family? Dad. Oh. Yeah. yeah dad. What's your dad's ethnicity? Because you all look mixed. Dad is African American. Dad is black. And your mom? My mom is Spanish, Spanish, Spanish and Creole. Creole. There you okay. go. Oh, so you're Latina. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. This makes all right, sense. Well, I see that. I see the exotic look on all your faces, and that's one of the things I find very attractive. Oh. I don't know. Am I playing it on too thick? I just can't. No, last second. No, no, no. No, they're beautiful. Sorry. We have to. I can't you know, help myself. When we have beautiful women in the studio, we gotta, you know, highlight their my head spins. Their features. By the way, social media, because you're a big social media oh, guy, yes. but I'm gonna take this question away from you. Go ahead. Obviously, you ladies know what you're doing on social media. Do you have any tips on how you can build a brand to the level that you built your brand using social media? I would say yes, consistency. So. You just be yourself and stay consistent because you can be yourself and then people, they're really in tune to your life. So mm. whoever you are, show that. They're gonna love who you are. Don't try and be somebody else. Mm. And stay consistent with it. Stay on board, just keep going, work hard toward it. I know when I've seen people like certain things about me, I just had to keep going to give them what they wanted to see. Right. So I say stay consistent. Yeah. 
Yeah. Obviously, yeah, you're. Yeah, that was a good answer. Well, what's I'll the thing it. that annoys you the most about social media? Do you read your comments? There's no privacy. Yeah. Isn't sure. that the price of fame, though, ladies? Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a big price to pay, though. <laughs> do you, really? How do you deal with haters? Ignore them. Yeah. Just ignore them. Because well, what could you do? I mean, they don't even really know you. And the mm. ones that do know you, they just hate them. So you can't go back and forth with a hater. They don't, it, they don't matter. They're not paying my bills. Is that something that you have to learn? <laughs> yeah, is, is that something that you have to learn? Or in, in, like in the beginning, would you get into it? Will yeah, people... in the beginning, you want to just hit everybody back. What you talking about? This, this, mm. and that. What you mean? <laughs> and after a minute, it's like, there's so many. There's no and then point. there's people who are literally will catch on to something and be like, OK, I'm going to just join in with them and start hating too. Like, right. what? Where'd you even get that from? Right. So you just ignore it. And when it's, once you ignore it, they feel like they can't get to you. So it'll just, it'll bypass. Oh, OK. Now, obviously, you want to use, you know, your your social media fame, I would assume, to do something else with your careers. Like, what do you ladies aspire to? Uh, what do you want? Where do you want this to take you? This reality show and your social media fame. I, I'm actually doing motivational speaking right now. Okay. Um, I want to use my platform to help change lives, to inspire people. I don't want to sit there and use all these followers to do what everybody else is doing. I rather, if I can inspire a young woman, if I can change somebody's life by just telling them what I have going on, that's all I really want to do. I just want to help just inspire people, uplift people, encourage people with my platform. All right, we're going to have to end on that note. Thank you for coming. Have you girls been to Miami? No. Get to Miami because you're going to get loved in Miami. You're going to be appreciated in Miami. And we pre appreciate you here on the zoo. I hope you come back. Wait a second, wait a second, Humberto. Before we leave, do you girls mind show standing up and showing us your curves? We got to see some of that, right, I'll do it too. Come on, curves. that's what the viewers want to see. Come on, let's show it off. Yes, oh my goodness. Feast your eyes, folks. I know Dad is here. I don't know how.